Here at 7:15, we have the latest on the tick fire for you this morning. Los Angeles County Fire Department telling us they just put out an update. Their calmer winds appear to be helping firefighters this morning. Containment has risen to 25 percent. The fire has burned 4,615 acres. Nine structures have been destroyed. Nine more have been damaged and more than 10,000 people remain threatened right now. So far, there have been no reports of any injuries. Uh, Fire Chief Sam now joins us this morning from the Verdugo Fire Academy to talk a little bit more about fire safety. Yeah, Chief, you've been here throughout the couple of days. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to talk about this weekend. You know, Valentine's, we're getting a break from the winds. So what will crews be focusing on this weekend before the winds pick back up? Uh, the big thing is to increase the containment lines and put out any hot spots because as the winds are supposed to pick up tomorrow and into Monday, any hot spots have the capability of blowing into the brush and reigniting the fire. So containment lines are huge right now. So it's possible the land that burned already could reignite? Absolutely. You have uh, hot spots out there. Wind gusts that are forecasted could easily spread and reignite unburned fuels. And for everyone who's watching and may not have been affected by the current fires burning right now, there might be a fire sometime soon. What should they prepare for? Emergency supply kit, cash, important documents, photos, your pet and pet foods, and harden your home, meaning secure that home. Get that patio furniture pulled away, prepare your home, make sure you have the leaves, needles, and twigs and combustibles mm -hmm. pulled away because we do have winds forecasted tomorrow night and into Monday and possibly into next week. Start thinking now. Everybody thinks it won't happen to them, and it does. Let's talk about brush clearance. When we say that, let's really define that. What is, is the brush clearance around a home? What does it contain of? Well, you contact your local fire department and find out what the um, vegetation mm -hmm. requirements are, the hazardous yeah, vegetation away. But you can um, prune up your trees, especially get rid of the leaves, needles, tweez, uh, twigs around your house. Um, make sure you have your wood piles and things pulled away from your home. Anything combustible, get it away from your home. Yeah, we cannot thank our firefighters for what they do. Thank them enough for what they do. Changing gears here. Today is also the 13th anniversary of the Esperanza fire. And that was another wind driven and deadly fire that broke out just west of Palm Springs, Chief. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. It is the 13th year anniversary today of where five highly trained firefighters in proper protective equipment and equipment to protect doing structure protection. They lost their lives. So when we ask people to evacuate, do so. I see people on TV and they have um, flip flops and shorts and yes. a garden hose. You're at such big risk. When you're asked to evacuate, do so. What, Leave it to the professionals. What happened with those five fire, firefighters in that situation? Uh, they were overran by the fire and uh, couldn't escape and lost their lives. Mm -hmm. And these were, like I said, hot five highly trained professionals. So leave it to the professionals. Every yeah. time I see those folks who are trying to protect their homes, I'm, I'm reminded of that too. And I'm like, yeah, you're not you're not trained. You probably should get out if they tell you to get out. And I understand the emotion that right. that's their home. Right, but right. you need to, to evacuate. Your house can be replaced. Your life can't. Right. God bless those families on yeah. this special uh, memorial. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank Chief you. Sam, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We always appreciate that.